Hi guys and welcome to your Divine Masculine Tarot Love Messages here. We're going to be taking a look at the messages um, coming in from your Divine Masculine or you know any messages the cards are sort of guiding you to regarding your DM here. Of course as always these messages are general so please just keep that in mind guys. If you are after personal readings myself please feel free to um, reach out and connect with me. I will list my email address below the video here. Okay guys, so we'll give the cards a shuffle and see what's coming in for you. High Priestess. Ten of Wands. A lot of major arcana cards here in your spread so first and foremost i want you to know that um, you're not crazy this intense feelings um you know that you're feeling here right now these intense emotions these um synchronicities these signs um that you're receiving from the universe here these emotions that cannot be explained or put into words here um this is your divine masculine okay this is the energy this is a twin flame connection and I feel like the cards here are sort of echoing on from, from that. You know, they're really um, trying to um, help you with some of this emotion, with some of these emotions or some of these turmoil that you're going through. You've got a lot of major arcana cards here. So there's a lot that you, you and your divine masculine that are going through that I feel like is either going to, it's going to transform you, okay? Either it's going to transform you individually or it's going to transform you as a couple. It just really depends which side of the numbers, guys, you're going to end up on, okay? A lot of secrecy here surrounding your connection. So, um, Either there are things about your DM you don't know that still needs to come to light, okay? There are certain, there's a certain darkness about the, the energy here, um, or there's a, there's a certain, there are certain secrets, okay? These secrets could have something to do with emotional trauma, with insecurities, with emotional issues, with any anxieties here, any mental disorders as well. Um, and I feel like this is exactly why it's being kept a secret, or this is why it has they haven't necessarily brought this forward or brought this to your attention. Although a lot of you, I do feel like, because, you know, the high priestess is so big on intuition, you've already felt that there's something here your divine masculine is not telling you, okay? And again, I feel like it stretches back to childhood issues. It stretches back to emotional trauma or emotional issues. So there's a lot of secrecy here. There's a lot of things that um, are in the darkness here, or there's a lot of things that you're in the dark about your DM, okay? And what needs to happen here is we need to shine a light on some of these dark emotional issues here within your connection, because if not, I feel like the darkness here is really going to swallow you whole here. Um, of course, the energies could be in reverse, guys. So if you feel like maybe you're the one that's, you know, surrounded in this darkness, and you're the one that's keeping your DM here in secret, then, you know, Reverse the energies here. Take it as it applies with you here. There is something here. Um, I feel like your connection here is burdened with a lot of stress or with a lot of secrets here. Okay, there's a lot. It like, it's like there's a burden here. Okay, there's this weight, and I, it could be your DM. They could be carrying a lot of weight. Okay, the weight of emotional trauma, the weight of emotional issues here. There's a lot of healing, and I feel like this connection here with your divine masculine. This is. There's a lot of healing, okay, and a lot of, um, a lot of you are the reason why you're going through what you're going through, this inner turmoil or this really, you know, uncomfortable situation where I'm seeing endings for a lot of you or I'm seeing pain, betrayal, rejection. Is that there's a lot of healing that needs to take place, or I feel like the cards are encouraging that you heal, 
you heal like a wound or a past hurt or a past situation with your DM, okay? In order to move forward with them, a healing needs to take place, especially with the star card here and the Ten of Pentacles. There's something here that I feel like is ending for you, and I'm not sure if it is this connection with the Divine Masculine. Keep in mind that, guys, Twin Flames, a lot of the times, it's not like soulmates, you know? They don't have soul contracts. They're not really binded um, for eternity to one another, so... A lot of the times, you don't actually end up with your Twin Flame connection. They do come into your life to teach you, to help you heal, okay, to teach you lessons, to challenge you, to push you outside of your comfort zone. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of spiritual growth or spiritual attainment or lessons behind uh, Twin Flame connections. So, for some of you, you know, 10 number of endings here. Um, I am seeing that there is endings around your connection or this connection here is going to end for you and it may be hard for you to hear but if there are any endings that are coming for you and the cards do predict that there is some sort of ending here you've got the eight of cups which is about closure and it's about walking away and then you've got the ten of swords this ending is going to be painful and i'm not going to lie um i'm not going to try to sugarcoat it or embellish it in any in any way it's something that you probably won't see coming or it's something that you probably didn't foresee um or it wasn't foreshadowed at all to you. It just ends. It could end really abruptly, or it could end because this toxicity, whether it was a substance, um, or whether it was just the two of you being really toxic to one another, or them being just really toxic in general. Um, something, I feel like maybe something he has influenced the ending. However, it ends on a painful note. And some of you, I feel like you're trying to resist it. You have to know that, you know, this ending here is happening for you, for your greater good. And, um... Something here I feel like needs to end so that healing and transformation can take place, okay? So that growth can happen or so that you can move forward from this or so that you can be liberated from uh, a toxicity or a pain or betrayal or hurt or just a past, okay? Because I feel like the ending here, don't resist what ends for you because ultimately it's trying to bring in something better, okay? And I feel like it, it's it, what's coming in for you is so much bigger, than you could ever imagine here. Your DM, I feel like they may have someone else here, okay? With the, the devil card, I feel like they could be attached to someone else. They may be in a relationship. I'm also seeing they may have a child. For some of you, I feel like because the sun and stars is all about illumination, um, within it could be within days, weeks, or months, but I feel like it'll happen all in divine timing. You're going to get certain things that the universe is going to illuminate to you about your divine masculine. So at the start of the spread, I you know, I spoke about a light that needs to be shined onto the darkness. There are secrets that you deserve to know, okay? Whether these are and some of you I feel like your DM is keeping secrets about them actually possibly having children or them actually being um, you know, involved in a committed relationship or partnership to someone else. Um they're keeping secrets about they're sort of holding back in letting you see the real them, okay? And in, they're holding back from talking to you about any emotional issues or traumas that they might have experienced in the past or maybe still be experiencing. And there's going to be a lot of illumination here. Now, some of you, I feel like you're the one that's going to be do, doing this illumination for your DM. So you're the one that's going to help them illuminate certain darknesses about them, okay? So you're going to be the, sh uh, the, light, the shining light in their darkness here. What's for others, I feel like the universe is going to help you. Like, you're really uncertain here about, you know, what the future holds or what the cards are really predicting for you. You're really uncertain about, you know, where to go from here, what steps to take, whether or not there's a future in all of this. Um, the universe here is going to illuminate to you. Cosmos, the divine source here, is going to highlight to you just exactly what might happen, okay, in the next few weeks or months. And just exactly where this relationship, this connection is heading. So there's going to be a lot of illumination here. Look for signs, symbols, synchronicities. Endings and closures is what I'm seeing for a lot of you. Okay, And don't fight it. Don't fight what's coming for you. Don't fight what's ending for you either here. Try and make the best of your situation, even if, you know, without even knowing what's coming next or what's going to happen next. Just try and make the best of your situation. Um, It's going to be... It's not going to be a perfect ending. There's no such thing as a perfect ending. Um, I feel like, you know, not all stories have a clear beginning. N not all stories have a clear end. And not all stories have uh, a clear, sorry, middle or 
or a client in that sense. Um, and this, because of the High Priestess energy, there's a lot of uncertainty here. And isn't that what life is all about, not knowing? So a lot of you, you are going into the darkness without necessarily seeing whether there is a light at the end of the t tunnel or whether there'll be a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, and a lot of this connection is all about not knowing. So you're going into this not knowing. Um, trust the process and trust that you will be guided. Okay, there will be a light that will be guiding you through this connection and through this process. And I'm, and I'm seeing a lot of endings that are going to... Um, a lot of endings. And trust that this ending is going to be followed for by a new beginning. Okay, so the ending here is disguised as a new beginning here. Um, and look, for some of you, it might not even be the ending. It may just be a, a point in your story with your DM where you decide to turn the page here. Okay, so I guess you decide, you know, which side of the numbers you're on here. Alright guys, these are your messages. Thank you, as always, for watching, for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Thanks guys again. Bye for now.